Hey, it's Kendall, and this month on 90 Second Church, it's Christmas in four words. Our word of the week is peace. I want to take you to one of the most well-known and most powerful prophecies of Jesus. This is Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7. You'll probably recognize it. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, and his government and its peace will never end. So, what does it mean that Jesus is the Prince of Peace? Well, the Hebrew word there is the word shalom. It means God's peace. And that's the kind of peace where everything works the way it was supposed to at the beginning, in which which we encounter God face to face, the way God created us to know Him. God's shalom is a world in which in which we flourish, where we live in the joy and the presence of our Maker, and we worship Him by loving Him and loving each other well. And this is what Jesus came to do, the Prince of Peace, to bring God's shalom peace into a world that was very much not filled with peace, a world in which we were not flourishing. We were not living in the joy and presence of the one who made us. This shalom peace was purchased at great cost. Jesus gave his life freely on the cross. And in so doing, he took our sin upon him so that we could be at peace with God and experience a taste of God's shalom peace right now and its fullness one day in heaven. If you have never given yourself to Jesus, the Prince of Peace, I urge you to surrender your life and your heart and your will to him right now. And if you have already done this, well then stop right now and worship him for what he has done and who he is, the Prince of Peace. We'll talk to you soon.